I am convinced that we are living in a time of extreme tyranny. There is an increasing gulf between what our politicians want to do and what our public wants them to do. And they know this. They know this is true, but they keep doing it anyway. That is why they deliberately try to demonise people who oppose them. Look at what happens with you, Les, now, and another very expensive, oppressive bit of the green agenda. Firstly, what they'll do is they'll take misleading opinion polls. So they'll ask questions like, do you care about the climate? Or do you think clean air is good? And then when most people say yes, because we're not idiots, they use that as total justification for all of their policies. But when people are asked things like, do you want to pay for a new car or can you afford a new boiler? The answers are very different, but that gets conveniently ignored. They'll say that they've done a public consultation, but then it emerges that they've already bought all the equipment that they need to enact the policy. So the public consultation never mattered. Then they'll go after the reputation of the people who still oppose them. They'll say that they're bigots, that they're conspiracy theorists, that they're also aligned to obscure wrong uns. That's the attempt to silence them. They'll try to rig scientific data to support their views by paying for it and only using selective little bits of it. On some things like gender issues, for example, they know that the vast, overwhelming majority of people believe in just two genders. So they'll try and get the kids on board by indoctrinating them at school. Sometimes they'll just blatantly lie to you and rely on people thinking that the opposition party is going to be worse, like on immigration. All of this means that they don't really have to worry too much about what the public think, because they've either rigged public support for it or demonised a lot of people into silence. And then this is the icing on the cake. On the rare occasion where the public might get a chance to vote on something directly, like, oh, I don't know, a referendum, They'll either try to overturn it or water it down or make such a mess of it that they hope that people change their minds and end up doing what they were supposed to do in the first place. But the cherry on top of the icing, on top of the cake, is this. On the rare occasion that the public gets a chance to vote them out of office or they quit before they get voted out so they can lie to themselves and claim that nobody ever actually unelected them, they get a taxpayer-funded payoff to cushion the blow. That's what's happening right now. £17,300 they get if they quit or we vote them out. Every single stage of this, at every single stage of it, the public is completely disenfranchised by a small group of political leaders. And that, in my book, is tyranny.